it's Michelle and I've been wanting to start doing some crafts with bottle caps. I don't really know yet exactly what I want to do, but I wanted to share something with you guys that I figured out along the way. So I went online to place an order for some bottle caps and I found two different kinds and I was kind of torn between the two, but I didn't really want to buy both. So I figured out a way to make one kind work for me in both ways and I wanted to share that with you guys. What I've got here is some bottle caps and they're like in the open position and you can also get them that are flat like that where it's been kind of mashed down. I don't know if you guys can see that very well on the black, but I'll choose a lighter color here in a minute when I show you that. So I was trying to decide would I want to do a craft with the open bottle caps or with the flattened bottle caps. And really, I would want the option to do both. And that way, depending on what project I'm doing, I may want it a different way. And like I said, I didn't want to purchase both at the time, so I figured out a way to buy just the open ones and flatten them. So I figured out that I can flatten those with my cuddle bug. And I want to show you guys that today because this is really so much fun. And I had heard that you could do this, but just to be honest with you guys, I was kind of afraid to try it because I really didn't want to risk hurting my cuddle bug. As you may know, Cricut has discontinued the cuddle bugs and they don't make them anymore. So I really didn't want to take a risk on something happening to it. But I decided to go ahead and just jump in head first and give it a try. And it works beautifully. It does not hurt the cuddle bug. It's super easy. It really feels like less pressure on the machine than when you're using dyes. So I feel very confident in telling you guys to go ahead and do this with your cuddle bug or whatever die cutting machine you've got. It's not going to hurt it at all. Now I really don't know what sandwich to tell you guys with other machines. I just know about the cuddle bug. That's what I've always used. So first I start with my A plate. That is the thick one. And then I'm going to put my bottle cap on there with the inside up. If you guys can see here which way I'm facing it. This is the top here and this is the inside. So I just want the inside facing up. And on top of that I'm going to put my rubber embossing mat and then my C plate. And I'm just going to crank that through. And it is just absolutely so easy. You guys, I've had a harder time with dyes. And it's just like magic the way that comes out. And you can see that's flattened. It curled those edges down and just sort of folded that under. I just thought that was so neat. And these are going to be fun for so many projects. As you guys may know, the regular size bottle caps perfectly fit a one inch punch. So you can punch something out of cardstock or something in there. And I will have some projects coming up soon. Like I said, I really don't know what. I haven't even explored that avenue. I was just in the process of trying to gather some materials and deciding which bottle caps I wanted. And that's how I came upon this to share with you guys first. So I'm going to do one more for you guys just to show you how easy that is. Again, I'm putting that with the open side up. My rubber embossing mat. And you guys can see here that impression from a tiny small one. I also ordered some mini bottle caps here. And I did try it, but it didn't quite work as well. So I don't know if I'm going to be able to flatten those yet or if I'll have to use them open. Or maybe I can explore a little more. It may require a different sandwich. I don't know. If you guys know, please leave a comment below and let me know. And we'll give that a try too. But for now, I've just figured out what to do with the regular size bottle caps. So on top of my rubber embossing mat goes my C plate. And I'm so glad I went ahead and gave this a try. Because it's so much fun. I just love doing this. So there is the finished result. And I'm going to be able to do projects with either type of bottle cap. So I'm going to be able to have 
my open ones or the flattened ones for whatever project I decide to do and all I had to buy was the open ones. So I'll leave a link for you guys in the description below for these open ones that I ordered. I think these are a lot of fun. They're in so many different colors and they're double sided which means that they have been painted inside and out. They don't have the rubber liner so they're perfect for crafts. I'll leave you guys a link to the mini ones too but like I said I'm still working on figuring those out. So it's just a little quick tip video for you guys. I hope you enjoyed it and let me know what kind of bottle cap crafts you'd like to see. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Give me a like over on my Facebook page and be sure to join our Facebook group Crafty Minds. Also follow me on Pinterest and Instagram and don't forget to visit my blog. I'll have the links for all of those in the description below so be sure and check those out. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.